Please be seated. I'm George Benson, president of the College of Charleston, and welcome to the Cistern Yard. I am particularly pleased to welcome the many family members, friends, and guests who are here today to celebrate the accomplishments of these terrific students. The College of Charleston has a deep, rich history. It was founded in 1770 by a group of men that included three future signers of the Declaration of Independence and three future signers of the U.S. Constitution. We have been educating students on these hallowed grounds since 1785. The first true college commencement ceremony was held in 1794. We begin our program this evening, this afternoon, excuse me, with the National Anthem. By the way, the National Anthem wasn't a part of this ceremony in the early years. It wasn't even composed until 1812, 18 years after our first commencement ceremony. It will be sung by Valerie Osborne and Cameron Ulmer. Both are graduating seniors and both are winners of the 2009 Margaret Elf Ekman Award for Outstanding Voice Student. Thank you, that was beautiful. Our commencement speaker has led some of the country's top advertising firms and conceived and delivered countless marketing campaigns. As she or any ad executive will tell you, such efforts always begin with a key question. What is the unique brand promise of the product or service being promoted? I want to talk about that question now in the context of today's graduation ceremony. You can't create an effective marketing campaign around a product without first knowing what the, promise, what the product promises to do for your target audience. Articulating that promise is crucial to the success of an advertisement. Brand promise is a powerful motivator. Just look at your own purchasing habits, the places you shop, the food you eat, the vehicle you drive, the type of cell phone you use. All say something about you as a consumer and all link back in some way to a brand promise. Today, students, soon to be graduates, as you pass through Porter's Lodge and move out into the global marketplace, I challenge you to identify or create your own brand promise. That is, I challenge you to figure out what you have to contribute to society. What unique attributes do you offer in the career marketplace? What makes you different or better than other job candidates you will compete against? We already know some of your attributes. You are young, computer literate, you're ambitious, you're environmentally conscious, you're mobile, multitasking, tasking, and adaptive to change. You place a higher premium on having a balanced quality of life than your parents did at the same age. Now, these things we know because they are inherent in your generation's brand. 
In developing your own personal brand, it might be helpful to think about the brands you buy. Take Starbucks. Now, there's a Starbucks just behind us here over in Calhoun Street. Every morning, it's packed to the gills with bleary-eyed students getting ready for class. What do you think when you think about Starbucks? What, do you, what comes to mind? Coffee, certainly. But what kind of coffee? Perhaps it's your very own custom coffee creation, prepared to your exact specifications and consistent from one visit to the next. That is your expectation based on your perception of the company's brand. You buy your coffee at Starbucks, and Starbucks promises to mix you a cup of coffee tailored to your liking. Now let's look at another example, one that is particularly relevant today, the College of Charleston's brand. You probably chose the College of Charleston because it promised a faculty with a strong, student-centered focus. It promised an unrivaled historic campus in a southern coastal city, and it promised rigorous and rewarding academic study. Now, individually, these qualities or characteristics are not unique to our college, but only the College of Charleston combines all three of them. That is what makes your education, the education you've received here over the last several years, so distinctive. That is the College of Charleston's brand. Now, we work hard to show off these assets to prospective students, and in some ways we have a very easy job because the campus literally sells itself. But if you live in Michigan or you live in Idaho or you live in Spain, you might never have heard of the College of Charleston or even the city of Charleston. And oh, by the way, is it West Virginia or South Carolina? So we market our college, and we do this by communicating our brand promise. So let me go back to my earlier question. What's your brand promise? Is, it your, is your brand your Facebook page, your Twitter tweets, or a YouTube video? What are you putting out there about yourself? What are you promising? Maybe you don't really know your brand promise yet, but you're going to need to know it awful soon. Your next employer is likely to browse job applicants like a savvy shopper scans the supermarket aisle. Do you jump off the shelf or do you blend in with a hundred other boxes of cereal? I have good news and bad news about your brand promise. The good news, today your brand gets a boost. You've earned your degree and it and the College of Charleston are now part of your marketing pitch. The significant and historic institution where so many pioneers and visionaries have gone before you is now part of your individual brand promise. And the bad news? Well, it's more of a warning. A warning to be careful when creating your brand and taking it public. Customers can be fickle. What gets you in the door may soon wear thin. You must keep learning, keep growing, keep refining your brand. When needed, reinvent your brand. If Britney Spears can do it, you can too. <laughs> but remember, for your brand to succeed, it must have substance and be an accurate characterization. Be sure your brand is grounded in your values and your work ethic. Be sure. Be true to your roots and the lessons your parents and your grandparents and your professors taught you. Creating a brand is more than just making a promise. It's making a promise that matters to other people and then keeping that promise always. Think about the current economic crisis and all the promises that turned out to be shallow or empty. The promise of, promises of investment banks, insurance companies, government regulators, and rating agencies and the promises of would-be homeowners who borrowed money they couldn't possibly repay. If we could turn back the clock, clock and reposition or reinvent a few of those brands, our economy would be in a far better place today. So keep your promises. Your word is your honor. Your honor is your future. Lastly, I want to ask you to make a promise right now, right here, today. I want you to promise that you won't forget the College of Charleston. Your legacy, whatever it may be, is now part of this college, and the college is now part of you. Give back to the college, become ambassadors, and our advocates around the country and around the world. Reach back and help the next generation of our students. Become active alumni. Send your children and your grandchildren to the college. In exchange, I will make a promise to you. 
I will continue to do everything in my power every day, every single day of the week, to increase the value of your degree. I will make sure that the college you promote as part of your own brand promise is worth everything you say about it and more. I promise. It is now my honor to introduce our commencement speaker this morning. Charlotte Beers Beetleston graduated from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette with a bachelor's degree in liberal arts. She later smashed the glass ceiling and climbed to the top ranks of the advertising industry, earning a reputation as the queen of branding. She became the first female vice president at the J. Walter Thompson advertising firm before going on to lead two of the country's top ad agencies in the 1980s and 1990s, Tatham Laird and Kudner and Ogilvy Mather. From 2001 to 2003, she capped a brilliant career by serving as Under Secretary for Public Diplomacy and Public Affairs for Secretary of State Colin Powell. Please join me in welcoming the woman known in the 1990s as the most powerful woman in advertising, Charlotte Beers Beetleston. President Vincent, if you want to switch jobs, you did such a great piece on brands. If you're willing to take a pay cut, there's a job for you in advertising. I want to thank President Vincent and the Board of Trustees for allowing me to be here. It's one of the great privileges of my life to be with you today. My husband, Bill Beetleston, and I love having our home in Charleston. Of course, I realize that we have to live here another hundred years before we're considered true residents of Charleston. We're working on it. It's a great day of celebration, and word has come to me that this class does not need any lessons on how to celebrate. <laughs> you better live up to that promise. And how can they not love a day like this? They are surrounded by people who are terribly interested in them, some who admire them immensely, and many who actually love them. And what I say is, enjoy it, because it isn't going to be like this when you come to life on the outside. At that point, you're going to face maybe hostility, a certain amount of rejection, and definitely indifference. Now, this is good, because just as a life, um, just as a happy childhood is the worst possible preparation for life, an easy transition from school to work will not teach you of what you are made. And I believe you are facing a life of work which is really different than the work you've just been doing. Now, I define work very broadly. Work is work, marriage is work, and parenting, that's really work. <laughs> so don't be too concerned. Uh, as you look into the future, I'd like to give you six, uh, what, what we would call in business, if you'll forgive the jargon, six success factors that might help you along the way, whatever your work turns out to be. Don't be concerned if your first work is something less than the glamorous, cushy job you had in mind. First jobs that are gritty rather than glamorous have turned out to be the secret of success for many achievers. They credit the small and lowly, the rude kinds of work, for teaching them the most about how to handle life. David Ogilvy, the founder of Ogilvy, which is, of course, a huge successful company today, said that the most important job experience he ever had was as a mere door-to-door -door salesman for the agar cooker. And if you know what the agar cooker is, it's not easy to sell. And he credits this with teaching him to face rejection and then to get up and do it all over again. So a big part of his success was not only that he could create great ads, but he could sell them. So don't worry about choosing grit over glamour. Now, future success hinges really on your finding the right work for you. For this, you're going to have to go backward a bit. 
You were born an original, and then like the rest of us, you began to copy people around you. But you're gonna to have to return to that original cell. It begins with the exterior, which you've just spent four years, or maybe for some of you more, refining and tuning up your education, your experience as an outward striver. Your resume will be the result of that, and of course your diploma. But your step two is to translate for your future employer prospect, or maybe a spouse prospect, what that education and experience means in terms of skills. But the third step is like that one giant step for mankind. It is to know the inner self. You have within you powerful interior drivers. And listen to what they affect. They affect how you do the work and how you engage with others. It's important to search out these traits and acknowledge them. Over time, I discovered that my signature inner traits were really more important in my career than all my so-called expertise about brands. And I'll, I might as well confess that one of my traits was, in, in a phrase, all things being equal, I'd rather be in charge. Now, this is not anything I recommend, and my husband doesn't definitely recommend it. But I had to acknowledge it, and when I was young and in business, it got me in a terrible amount of trouble. But as I grew more sophisticated and understood what was ahead, it literally shaped my career as a troubleshooter for companies that were in trouble. Please do this inventory, and then integrate what you know about your inner self with the outer. Out of that will come something really priceless, self-confidence. As Rilke, the German poet, says, without this inner married to the outer, it will be as though you were standing on fishes, not too stable. Leadership in any forum comes from being authentic, and authentic comes from knowing your whole self. Another success factor is to care about your character, and you want to aim high here not in terms of salary or title, but in qualities like trustworthiness, integrity. Because looking back over your life from your rocking chair, you want to like who you've become. Qualities like this are acquired day by day in the midst of life. You can't just catch up with them later. Let's take bravery. For, for, for some, bravery is having the nerve to hold up your hand to speak. For some, it's in the battlefield. But if every day you go toward that which makes you uncomfortable, then you'll be ready for test day. When I was a junior account executive at J. Walter Thompson Chicago, there was one other professional woman. And she was a star way over me, a big time creative power. As I was walking by in the hall one day, I heard her talking to a group of men and they must have been very amused. They were really laughing. I realized that she was doing a really deadly mockery of my Texas accent. It sounded like, I don't think it's the right thing to do, or something awful like that. Not only did my face burn, I had very little to say. Now, my idea of bravery was to speak up in a world of men. So there was really no way I could accept that. I found myself at her door. And I startled both of us by saying, by the way, with no drawl, I'm not leaving here until you and I agree. We can present a united front to the men. Well, that day she ended up taking me to lunch and teaching me to drink scotch mist, which is a real long lunch. But we ended up being two multiplied. Now, the fifth success factor is communicating, communicating effectively. You cannot enter a world for which you do not have the language. When I worked for the State Department and the Pentagon and the CIA, the place was awash in indecipherable initials and codes. My boss, Secretary Powell, knew that I was mystified. One morning, a fellow reported something about India and Pakistan and PNG. 
And Powell said, you got that, Beers? Well, I didn't get it, but I thought a bluff was in order. So I said, sure, Procter & Gamble is coming to Pakistan. <laughs> he said, no, it's PNG, persona non grata. So you too will have to learn a new way of communicating. It won't be what you want to say, as it was here in college, speaking to very interested audiences. It will be what they want to hear, what they're willing to hear. Here's the golden rule in all communication. It's not what you say, it's what they hear. And you're gonna to have to start by learning their unique language. My final point is to make you aware of what the winning companies of tomorrow are focused on as their success factor. Have you noticed that men and women are different? I'm not talking about the differences you've recently specialized in. Oh. Well, they had to have some comment. No, it's about differences that the newly emerging workplace cares greatly about. You know what? These differences start early. A 10-year-old girl asks, hey, who's your girlfriend? A 10-year-old boy asks, can you pee as far as I can? <laughs> Boys grow up to be men who are physical and wholehearted about competing and striving. Men are good negotiators, planners, organizers. Women have a kind of peripheral vision. We comprehend what's meant versus what's said. Women understand emotion and feelings because they're not afraid of intimacy. And they can describe these intangibles because to women, words are our choice of weapon. Now, this is by no means a comprehensive list of differences, but the point isn't better than one another. The point is companies everywhere know that respecting and bringing these differences to bear on problems and opportunities will actually create a far better universe. And from my own experience, I can tell you it's just a lot more fun. I'm gonna close with a poem that asks a question you might ponder. David White wrote this poem because people kept accusing of, of worshiping the gods of money and success. It's titled Self-Portrait. It doesn't interest me if there's one God or many gods. I want to know if you feel, if you belong or feel abandoned, if you can know despair or see it in others. I want to know if you are prepared to live in the world with its harsh need to change you. If you can look back with firm eyes and say, this is where I stand. That's what I hope for, that you're prepared to live in the world that will change you, and that when that happens, you can be firm and say, this is I, this is where I stand. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for being with us, Charlotte, and thank you for those words of wisdom. At this morning's ceremony, we have two perfect 4.0 GPA students. Yeah. Would each of you please stand as I call your name? Jenny R. Band in political science. And Rachel E. Mossman in classics and history. Thank you, you may be seated. The Bishop Smith Award is the highest honor a student can receive during his or her career at the College of Charleston. The recipient of the award is chosen on the basis of demonstrated leadership and academic excellence. I am pleased to announce that at a recent ceremony, the Bishop Smith Award this year was presented to Kristen Nicole Thompson from Merle's Inlet. South Carolina. <laughs> I think she already stood up, so I won't ask her to stand. But. Kristen is graduating with a double major in political science and communication. 
and she received a plaque and a $500 check. Yeah, now they all want to know her. Now I would like to introduce the students in the platform party today. Seton Brown is president of the Student Government Association. Seton, there he is. Skylar Stetton is president of the senior class. Thomas Holliday is president of the Black Student Union. And Ashley Williams is president of the Student Union for Minority Affairs. Skylar Stetton will now come forward and make remarks on behalf of the senior class. She will be followed by Seton Brown with remarks on behalf of the student body. It is my honor and privilege to speak to you this morning. To the class of 2009, when I think back on my journey over the last four years, I want to remember everything. College far exceeded my expectations, and I am grateful for that. I think that what makes leaving this place so special is being able to look back on the memories we've made. Looking back on all the people we've met and all the experiences we've had, and thinking of those specific moments that were so college. We spent four years walking through time, each at our own pace, taking each step and every new experience and weaving them together. College may end today, but the things we've learned will last a lifetime. I hope that we remain curious and eager to continue our education throughout our lifetime, being not just students of the College of Charleston, but students of life, always learning and always changing. College is liberating, it is invigorating, it is challenging, it is scary, and it is open to everyone who has the courage and the curiosity to take advantage of it. Life isn't short, it just goes by really fast, so take advantage of it. We have all come together this weekend to celebrate a College of Charleston education. Graduating college is a great achievement, and it comes with a lot of responsibilities and successes that we will come to know. We may be graduating at one of the most inopportune times for finding a job, but that will not stop us from becoming presidents, senators, executives, Nobel Prize winners, and goodwill ambassadors. The current state of the economy will not determine if we are successful. We will determine if we are successful. We will soon become proud alumni of the College of Charleston. We are the class of 2009. And in keeping with our commitment to give back, it is my privilege to announce that our class gift to the college is an academic scholarship for an incoming freshman. I am happy to report that the class of 2009 has pledged over $14,000 towards the scholarship. Right now, we are sitting among some of the best friends of our lives, and we are taking some of the best memories with us. It is my hope for the class of 2009 that we go forth with remembrance. We came to the College of Charleston, we lived, we loved, we learned, and we will always remember what we will take with us from this experience. Congratulations, class of 2009. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure and an honor to speak to all of you today, from the administrators and the board of trustees to the parents and the families of our students and the faculty members of the college. Now, to the class of 2009, I know that I'm the last person to speak before you get your diploma, so I'll try and make this quick. Um, <laughs> on August 22nd, 2005, I was among one of the 2,000 first-year students that walked in through those gates at uh, Porter's Lodge at the south end of the yard. We walked in together, and today we leave together, forever changed and enriched by our experiences over the past four years. And learning to know thyself as it is inscribed above the gates of Porter's Lodge, 
we have learned that life does not re revolve around each of us as individuals. Life is about the people around us. It's about the lifelong friendships we build. And after four years, the graduates on stage are not just friends. We're now family. And throughout our lives, we will love one another as brothers and sisters, and our hearts and our minds, always and forever. It has been friendship that has become the sweetest influence on each of our lives. And tomorrow, we will go to all ends of the earth. We will become chief executives and award-winning artists, successful doctors and researchers, and also literary geniuses, noble politicians, and beloved teachers. And although we leave here today and go in so many different directions, we are forever bound by one special tie, and that's the College of Charleston. In my sophomore year, a dear friend of mine reminded me of the phrase, blessed be the tie that binds. It's beautiful in its simplicity. And it is that tie, that bond, which brings us together today and connects all of those fortunate to call the College of Charleston their alma mater. As we prepare to join this special group of graduates, we will commit ourselves to enhancing not only our reputations, but also that of our institution. Many are to thank, but one group is to highlight. The people who have made such an investment in us, our professors. These men and women have committed their lives to the future. They were on the front lines with us in the classroom where ignorance was their enemy and intellect was their defense. We leave here today with the knowledge that they have bestowed onto us. And we leave in search of a noble truth. And we thank the College of Charleston for preparing us for our careers and our life. Today we leave far richer than we came. Our college motto, also found on the College of Charleston seal, Sapentia ipser libertas, knowledge itself is liberty. And today we are, at, we are set free. So, hail to thee our alma mater, blessed be the tie that binds us, and may God forever bless the College of Charleston. Thank you. Skylar and Satan, thank you uh, for your remarks. Uh, you both will be sorely missed at the College of Charleston. Now, for the reason we're all gathered here today, the awarding of the degrees. <laughs> Joining me in awarding the diplomas will be Marie Land, Chair of the Board of Trustees, Elise Jorgens, our Provost, and Victor Wilson, Executive Vice President for Student Affairs. Professors Joy Vandervoort Cobb from the Department from the Theater Department and Karen Chandler from the Arts Management Department will announce the names and majors of our graduates. Upon successful completion of all degree requirements and with the recommendation of the faculty and the deans, I have the honor to present the bachelor's degree candidates of 2009. For the bachelor's degree in art history, joining us will be Professor Robert Russell representing the department. Sarah Rose Armstrong. Ruth Ballister. Sarah Elizabeth Bandy. Casey Barry Cum Laude. Whitney Brandt. Jillian Ellis. Elizabeth Glock. Caitlin Laurel Gray, Samantha Lynn Heaster, Meredith Lee Hutchins Cum Laude also meets requirements for communications, Jessica Lynn Murtha, Grace Helena O'Toole Magna Cum Laude also meets requirements for biology and the Honors College. Honors College, college certificates were awarded by Dean John Newell at a separate ceremony. Sarah Courtney Pridgen, Emily Catherine Rosser, Rosser, Casey Elizabeth Stradcutter, Kimberly Dale Swercos, 
Jillian Tabesh Taft, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Sarah D. Taylor, also meets requirements for studio art. Caitlin Lamar Wall, receiving her fifth degree from the College of Charleston, Marie Eason McConnell. Congratulations, For the bachelor's degree in arts management, joining us will be Professor Scott Shanklin Peterson, director of the program. This is Susan Ann Baker. I'm here. Congratulations. Anthony S. Sicoli. Stephanie Rose Cuevas. Alexis Cunningham. Tabitha Brewerton Days. Molly K. Devine. Amanda Lauren Dibble. Ansley Marie Easterlin. Alexandra Rose Eichler also meets requirements for the Honors College. Nicole Fair. Erin Catherine Fornadel. Emily Ann Gould. Stephanie Marie Hall. Kate E. Headley, cum laude. Allison L. Hickey. Taryn Alyssa Homan. Terrence O. Holland. Laburn Jones. Elizabeth Lieber also meets requirements for Spanish. Andrea Marie Lever, Hadley Hamilton Lyman, Jennifer Marble, Allison W. McGarrity, Sarah C. McGregor, Stephanie L. Monroe, Rebecca L. Powers, Sarah Ashley Richardson, Jamie Elizabeth Robertson Cum Laude, Tess Rogers, Nice Nicole A. Sedlicek, Erica M. Schaub, Tony Spidner, also meets requirements for studio art, Lacey W. Stanfield, Ariana Sweeney, Jessica Vanderwerken, cum laude, Sophia Vachelos, Catherine J. Weatherly, Ashley A. Wyndham. For the bachelor's degree in historic preservation and community planning, joining us will be Professor Robert Russell, director of the program. Nathan James Attard, also meets requirements for art history and the Honors College. Courtney Carter Barnwell. Sarah K. Biggers, also meets requirements for art history. Catherine A. Burroughs, also meets requirements for art history. Danielle Vaughn Collimer, also meets requirements for art history. Caitlin, Caitlin Lee DeGrushi. Congratulations. Kate Hamill Fredland. Andrew Joseph Fye. Cameron M. Gloss. Meredith Greer Gunter also meets requirements for art history. Sean Joseph Hackett. Aaron Aldridge Hood also meets requirements for art history. Congratulations. You're welcome. Brianne Caitlin Horahan, cum laude, also meets requirements for English. Alexander Hirsch Howell, magna cum laude. Molly S. Nabinet, cum laude. Hattie Keys. Hannah Caroline Lee. Elizabeth H. Martin, also meets requirements for art history. India Ray Mathis, Molly McCready. Congratulations. Sarah Levesque Mickler, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Allison K. Miller, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for art history. Rachel R. Paris, also meets requirements for art history. Sarah Blakely Rogers, magna cum laude. Michael W. Sanders. Gail Carroll Shropshire. Jessica K. Skinner. Adrian H. Stewart, cum laude. William M. Strickland. Lauren P. Nice Thompson going. also meets requirements for art history. Jody R. Turkis. Hey. Nice Megan nice Lee Williams also meets requirements for art history. Congratulations. For the bachelor's degree in music, joining us will be Professor Steve Rosenberg, chair of the department. Congratulations. James Moffat Alexander IV. Jordan B. Alexander Cum Laude, Jessica Grace Chapman, Jack Alpe Cleghorn, 
Rosemary K. Yes, Cox. Congratulations. Colleen Kavina Cullinan. Congratulations. Valeria Diaz. Nice job. Gregory Daniel Gway nice Cum Laude. Virginia nice Nell Hasseldon Summa Cum Laude. Andrea Elizabeth Horath. Thomas Lee Marchbanks. Clayton L. Moser. Joseph O. O'Connor. <laughs> Valerie L. Osborne. Alonson Root. Laura Caroline Selby, cum laude. Cameron E. Ulmer, cum laude. Rebecca Lynn Verdon. Tyler Wilkinson. Congratulations. Nice score. Congratulations. Congratulations. For the bachelor's degree in studio art, joining us will be Professor John Hull, chair of the department. <laughs> nice going. Congratulations. Emily James Aton, Heather J. Carey, Anne Marie Carter, George Isaac Davis, Tracy Lynn Deer, Addison James DeFresco, Adam Christian East, Corey Lynn Gerlach Cum Laude, Rachel Kate nice Gillon, Diana E. Hall Cum Laude, Nicole Healy, Anita Hepburn nice Cum Laude, and Catherine Hinder, cum laude. Mary and Lovett also meets requirements for psychology. Jordan Galloway Martin. Luli Martin. Anna Llewellyn Mossman. Casey Jane Nowak. Emily G. Lyles. Timothy Michael Paquin. Julia Ann Pridmore. Madeline Grace Reina, cum laude. Isabel M. Salazar, Lauren B. Saxon, Zoe Savory, Madison nice C. Smith also meets requirements for English. Lindley Drew Smith, Shelley Lucille Smith, Rachel Ann Steely, Kelly Chastine Stewart also meets requirements for anthropology. Lillian Elise Tanner, Nora Van Leuven. Elizabeth Vaughn. Congratulations. 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 For the bachelor's degree in theater. Joining us will be Professor Todd McNerney, chair of the department. Congratulations. Sherry M. Ard also meets requirements for arts management. Elizabeth Bays. Charlene Marie Boy, cum laude. Rachel Can't Evelyn Budiansky, <laughs> Richard Thomas Dunn, Kyra Ellington, Congratulations. Sierra D. Garland, Congratulations. Hugh Schuyler Halsey, yeah. Nicholas A. James, nice yep. Joseph Trent Kimbrell, Congratulations. Catherine R. Luxus, cum laude, also meets requirements for English. Congratulations. Eric M. Melvin also meets requirements for communication. Congratulations. Congratulations. Chriselle Quinesha Rion also meets requirements for English. Peyton Gray Robbins. Michael Lewis Smallwood. Paige Stanley, Aaron Amelia White, You're gonna get some Caitlin Carilla S. In and Winslow, summa cum laude. Congratulations, high school. Congratulations. 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 Assisting us with the graduates from the School of Humanities and Social Sciences will be Dean Cynthia Lowenthal. For the bachelor's degree in anthropology, Joining us will be Professor Maureen Hayes, Chair of the Department. Stephen Bruce Bird. Caitlin E. Campbell, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Gina Crockett. Leah Hope Daniels. Christopher Allen Davis. Patrick William Foley. Morgan Lee Fur, cum laude. Sarah M. Green. Paul, Paul Joseph Grelick, Basil Duke Henning, 
That's Thomas right. Meacher, Congratulations. Natalie Ann Moore, Lucas Debaiji right. Morea, Sean Frederick Larson O'Connell, John Byron Overton, Lindsay Ann Pruitt, Daniel nice Shelton going. Robinson, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College, nice Sarah M. Rose, Ellen Hope Spallino, nice Rachel going. Lynn Vickical, summa cum laude, Joshua Kyle Wagner, Megan Eileen Welsh cum laude, also meets requirements for English. For the bachelor's degree in communication, nice joining us will be Professor Brian McGee, chair of the department. Congratulations. Aurelia Laura Abba, Stephanie Ann Abraham, Madeline Renee Adams, cum laude, Erkin Abiyuk, Suzanne S. Almagrin, Christopher C. Alpert, Tinja Anderson Mitterling, Ashley E. Angel, Anna P. Armstrong, magna cum laude, Leslie A. Arroyo, Kristen Nicole Barfield, Ashley L. Barnes. Ashley's diploma is presented by her uncle, Mr. Don Belk, member of the College of Charleston Board of Trustees. Congratulations. Let's go on. Erica Benson, Natalie G. Bernardina, Logan Betch, Samantha Beta, Brittany Bigelow, Catherine E. Bigley, Catherine L. Bonahan, Bohannon, Congratulations. John Everett Booz, Bridget R. Borman, Carolyn Adair Boswell, Michael Burke, Dana M. Branch, Paula N. Brandt, also meets requirements for Spanish, Allison Bridget Brantley, nice Elizabeth Bowers Bray, Mackenzie Claire Brodnick, Ellen Wimberly Brown, Jocelyn Felicia Brown, Margaret R. Brown, Lisa Marie Buckley, Seth Ryan Buller, Victoria Bundy, Stephen Charles Burke Jr., Ashley C. Burnett, Kevin Thomas Burns, nice Melanie Francis Catuana. Congratulations. Nice Alyssa Caparasso. <laughs> Amy Sarah Carpenter. Nice Lisa Marie Cassisi. Congratulations. Nicole Margaret Chabra. Catherine S. Charney. David Claire Cum Laude also meets requirements for the Honors College. Amanda B. Click, nice Cher Emily Coburn, Courtney L. Cochran, Emily E. Coleman, Robert Reed Colligan, nice Catherine E. Colvin, Claire Elise Costa, Marquise Jarrell Craft, nice Kelsey B. Crenshaw, Megan A. Cronin, Megan's diploma nice is presented by her uncle, Professor Dennis Keyes. Yep. Anna Crowder. Right. Yeah, congratulations. Jillian Sarah Crum. Congratulations. Catherine H. Danner. Sanam Delorme. <laughs> Hannah W. Diffenderfer. Congratulations. Genevieve Elaine De Leonardo, summa cum laude, also meets requirements nice for the Honors College. Megan Donnelly. Nice going. Erin Elizabeth Drunani. Congratulations. Congratulations. Christina Iva Edinger. Jessica Lynn Ellis. Chad B. Fisher. Stephen Cole Fitchett, Brian Nicole Fugere, Markham L. Gartley, uh -oh, you're gonna get some pure Brian F. Giardino, <laughs> Laura Jane Gibson, Mary E. Glandon, cum laude, Jennifer Lynn Godwin, John Newman Granger, Ashley B. Grant, Meredith Lauren Graves, Lauren Gardner Green, Chad Thomas Gunter, Congratulations. Charlotte M. Congratulations. Gutman, nice 
Stephanie Congratulations. and Haney, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Lauren Elizabeth nice Hatch, magna cum laude. Congratulations. Joelle Head, cum laude. Congratulations. Garrett Hetherington. Congratulations. David well. Griffin Heiser, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for sociology. Nice job. Thomas H. Henry. Catherine Lee Hessler. Kyle M. Hilliard. Rachel Melanie Hinger. Molly Hippolytus. Megan Ann Herschler. Erica L. Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Charles Hoke. Matthew Robert Horton. Whitney L. Hoskins. Charles A. Hughes also meets requirements for political science. Fiona Hutchinson. All right, you made it, huh? Samantha Nicole Ingram. William nice L. Job. Johnson. Lisa Renee Johnston. Amanda Jones. Jesse Jordan. Congratulations. Caitlin May Congratulations. Camel. Congratulations. Also meets requirements for biology. Melissa A. Cavanaugh. Nice Congratulations. Preston Forbes Kelly. Congratulations. Evan Michael Kellinger. Congratulations. Shannon Kelly. Congratulations. You're welcome. Lauren Elise Cunley. Congratulations. Cara Lynn Nisley, cum laude. Valerie Kabrowski. You're welcome. Stephanie Forbes Kozerski. Congratulations. Congratulations. Kelly Quo. Congratulations. Nicholas John Langston. Natasha M. Lemon. Nice talk. William Anders Lindsay, cum laude. Zeddy Watkins Little. <laughs> Ashley Logue. Weston Pitcairn Lord. Jillian Love, cum laude. Megan Elizabeth Lutz. Whitney Lauren Myola. Warren Stewart Malone. Congratulations. Gabriel Edward Martian. Rachel Martin, nice Tiffany Sharice Mason, Augusta Lennox Matthews, Stacy E. Matoon, nice Hannah J. Meyer, Allison R. Mays, Jordan E. McCutcheon, Michelle McGrew, Elizabeth Martin McKenna, Luis Armando Mesa, Caroline Carrick Miller, Grayson Krista Miller. Margaret Lee Miller, Allison Irene Mistretta, Charlotte Morgan, Megan Lynn Moracle, cum laude, Amber E. Morris, Rebecca Morris, Kirsten R. Mosco, Noel H. Nabhani, Nathaniel Jackson Newberry, John Nyquist, Tiffany Simone Ori, Whitney Elizabeth Osborne. Kasprina Owens. Nice score. Congratulations. James Russell Kai Owens. <laughs> you made it. Lauren M. Peralt also meets requirements for the Honors College. Congratulations. Nice score. Andrea Plantilla. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Polisha. Congratulations. Carol Lee Papalardo. Nice Elizabeth Ida Pucarelli. Yeah, Anne Marie Puckett. Caitlin Coles Pulley. Nice going, yeah, congratulations. Emily Rolls Randisi, John E. Ranson, Lauren Rathburn, Amanda Kathleen Rayburn, congratulations. Trevor C. Reynolds, Sarah R. Riley, Samuel Robertson, David Jonathan Rodman, nice going, Sierra Siobhan Rogers, Rebecca A. Nice Rowe, congratulations. Daniel Russell Einhorn, Sarah Scheibler, Courtney G. Scatino. Congratulations. Ellen Schmedingoff. Congratulations. Ross B. Schneider. Congratulations. Catherine A. Seeger. Alexandra B. Seaman. Allison L. Scher, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Congratulations. Caitlin Coles Pulling. Congratulations. Margaret Congratulations. Lee Miller. High school, I congratulations. 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 Look what I got. All right. Congratulations. William Bennett Sharon. Park Shields. <laughs> do it, please. Shane Shipley. Alana Slamovitz. 
Aaron Ashley Smith. Morgan Smoke, nice John D. Smyers, Margaret Lee Miller, Caitlin Coles Pulley. Congratulations. Congratulations. Holly Springfield. Congratulations. Diana Stabers. Nice going. Congratulations. Lavonda Taylor Stokes. Skylar Alexandra Stetton, summa cum laude. Kelly Nicole Stroop. Congratulations. Candace right, Summer. Congratulations. Congratulations. Timothy yeah, T. Congratulations. Tang. Congratulations. Evan M. Toppin, mag magna cum laude. Sean M. Tolbert. Allison Trost. Jennifer Christine Ty. Timothy nice Van Deest. Catherine E. Van Dyke. Yeah, congratulations. Catherine Varn. Lisa Ann Wallace. April N. Webb. Elizabeth L. Went, Nicole R. Wetternick, Adam Williams, Stephen G. Williams, Suzanne L. Wilson, Sarah Faye Wolf, magna cum laude. Congratulations. 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 Nice call. Congratulations. 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 Reload. For the bachelor's degree in English, joining us will be Professor Patricia Ward, Chair of the Department, Felicia Anderson, magna cum laude, Brianna Arnett, Catherine Elizabeth Barnes, Joseph David Eugene Bowling, cum laude, Erica L. Carson, cum laude, oh, also on, meets requirements for the Honors College, Ann M. Costigan, Jessica Crowley, Congratulations. Heidi Denman, cum laude. Celeste Star Nagalo de Vera, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Timothy Devine. Nice call. Congratulations. Ashley Elizabeth Doan, also meets requirements for secondary education. Jennifer Lee Pennington Downs. Matthew T. Fry. Brandon Hare, cum laude. Sophie Ellen Harsha. Mary Emma Hart. Nice Brendan W. Hardy. Congratulations. Genevieve Hudson, cum laude. Franklin Kyle Jeffrey. Congratulations. Kara A. Jones also meets requirements for secondary education. Kente nice Haynes yep, Lawrence. Joshua David Y. Lamb. Yep. Rebecca Lawyer. Nice congratulations. Anne Lynette. Duncan J. McCullough. Congratulations. Amanda K. Munn, cum laude. Sean Michael Nimitz, also meets requirements for communication. Nice Kimberly Nicole Parkill, cum laude. Yep. Sarah Peck. Maura Taylor Phillips. Elizabeth A. Randall, also meets requirements for psychology. Samuel Cornelius Reigns Red. Nice Andrew Ruddick, also meets requirements for philosophy. Lauren Estefany. Santander also meets requirements for communication. Eleanor Pleasant Smealy. Jacqueline Leanne Schmid. Elizabeth Hart Spencer. Kip Spencer, cum laude. Congratulations. Theodore J. Stegman. Heather L. Steimel. Lillian Palmer Stowe. Ryan Marie Strauss, cum laude. E. Clinton Taz. Sarah Kappel Thomason, cum laude. Nice call, congratulations. Stacy Takarzik. Magdalene Mary Trella, cum laude. Sydney Walmsley. Kara A. Weidman. Whitney Wilder also meets requirements for political science. You're welcome. Justin H. Yampalski. Allison Wonas. Seth Allen Woodley. Congratulations. 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 Go ahead. Good. Well, thank For you. the bachelor's Appreciate degree that. in history, joining us will be Professor William Olechnek, chair of the department. Harris Arthur Abrams. Brooks Henry Alger. Caitlin Helen Bailey also meets requirements for the Honors College. David M. Baldwin. 
Lillian T. Barron, <laughs> cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Daniel Burkhardt, summa cum laude. Daniel's diploma is presented by his father, Mr. Don Burkhardt, Burkhardt, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Planning. Samantha L. College also meets requirements for anthropology. Emily M. Crane, cum laude. Christian Cummings. Congratulations. William Logan Etheridge, cum laude, also meets requirements for French. Eric T. Helms also meets requirements for secondary education. Catherine Daly Holt, magna cum laude. Jason E. Humphrey. Caroline L. Jordan also meets requirements for secondary education. Casey G. Lindman. Alexander G. Livers also meets requirements for secondary education. Jeffrey D. D. Newland. Nicole Nehart also meets requirements for secondary education. Manton A. Payne. Charles William Patrick. Samuel M. Pringle also meets requirements for the Honors College. Ebony E. Prelo. Molly Ballantine Robinson also meets requirements for nice communication. Elena Teresa Rodriguez. Max Sandler. Caitlin L. Stolba, summa cum laude. Jean Marie Tankersley, summa cum laude. Congratulations, nice job. Robert Maxwell Rimley. Nice Joseph Matthew Toth also meets requirements for secondary education. Another one? Sharon <laughs> Vossler, cum laude, also meets requirements for sociology and the Honors College. Harriet Condon Ward. Chris D. Nice Willoughby, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for English. Catherine Elizabeth Wolf. Hi, congratulations. You're welcome. Okay. For the bachelor's degree in philosophy, joining us will be Professor Glenn Lessis, chair of the department. Jeremy Joseph Anderson. Jason Money Bird. Nicole S. Cupano. Lindsay M. Elting. Ara Tyler Grespin also meets requirements for biology. Carolyn M. Marcantoni. Emily Snyder, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for philosophy. Amanda J. Taroni, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Blake Alexander Wearing. Evan P. Williams. For the bachelor's degree in political science, joining us will be Professor Phil Jost, chair of the department. <clears throat> Jacqueline Miles Aiken. Andrew W. Arberg. J. Rebecca Band, top honors, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Rachel Larson Barnard. Sophia M. Benner. Congratulations. Benjamin D. Bernstein. Congratulations. Nice Samuel Reynolds, Reynolds Bolts. Jonathan Bowen. Magna cum laude. Also meets requirements for German. Congratulations. Oh. Mark Joseph Bringardner. Magna cum laude. Cheryl E. Bruce. Also meets requirements for history. Susan Catherine Butler. Pr Patricia Lee Congratulations. Burke. Yeah, all right, good, get that grip in there. Anna Natalie Chard, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Robert Alexander Dagenhart. Megan Leanne Daggett. Evan Jacob Dash. Quinn Thomas Dempsey. Thomas Drazen. <laughs> David Englander. Congratulations, nice go. Jared Austin Esselman. Congratulations. Lindsay Nicole Funderburg also meets requirements nice for the Honors College. Bradley Reese Gaber the fourth, magna cum laude. Nice start. congratulations. Allie E. Gasqui. Congratulations. Stephanie Denise Gillis, cum laude. Joseph Nicholas Getz the second. Congratulations. You're Wesley welcome. You're Evan welcome. Gray. Stephen M. Heck. Congratulations. Michael Benjamin Hendley. Congratulations. Courtney A. Hereford, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Charles Congratulations. W. Hennett. Joseph B. Hafer. Carrie E. Howell. 
Jonna T. Hungler, Jeffrey A. Johnson, Rex Allen yeah. Kehoe, Nicole Kelly, Sarah Corey, Thomas D. Kilpatrick, cum laude, Nicole Jung Jung King, Congratulations. Valerie Marie Nice also meets requirements for biology. Mark P. Koska. Congratulations. Stephen Francis Kristen. You're welcome. Richard Boucher Blanders. Blanders. Mark F. Landis. Kevin Latner. May Catherine Link. Ashley Suzanne Lohr. Congratulations. Kate Loveland, cum laude. Julia Luisi. Yeah. Domenia Shakara Mar Mays. Congratulations. Amanda L. McIntosh. Congratulations. Nice Pierce day. James McNamara. Congratulations. Patrice Howard Meredith, cum laude. Jonathan David Merlis. Alexandra nice R. Modley, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Craig P. Monahan. Leah D. Montgomery, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Charles Murkison, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Congratulations. Victoria Ann Nagel. Nice call, Nicole B. Noble, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Kimberly Louise Phillips. Congratulations. Larissa Phillips. Emma Lynn Rosilla. Congratulations. Kelly Rakus. Congratulations. Samuel Charles Ray. Stephen D. Robichaud, David R. Rosansky, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Matt E. Rungi, Alexandria Russell, also meets requirements for the Thanks Honors College. John Neal Stamba, Nate H. Snyders, Anne Elizabeth Edward South, magna cum laude. Jessica C. Studstill also meets requirements for the Honors College. Congratulations. You're Shania Shales Susak also meets requirements for the Honors College. Claire S. Sweeney. Kristen M. Thompson, summa cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College and communication. Ann Russell Thorson, cum laude. Travis Michael Tracy. Alexandra. Iraj Bijan Turman. Congratulations. Leslie A. Varner. Simon J. Vila. Nice call, congratulations. For the bachelor's degree in psychology, joining us will be Professor Thomas Ross, chair of the department. Congratulations. Pooja J. Amin. Lauren E. Arnold. Caroline Legree Atkinson. <laughs> Davis A. Baird, yeah, well. summa cum laude. <laughs> Kirsten E. Birnot, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Elizabeth Bridges Bench. Congratulations. Jennifer L. Bowling, Shannon M. Bonville, Caitlin Page Briarly, cum laude, also meets requirements for biology. Braxton S. Brown. Congratulations. Nice Reagan T. Brown, Stacy C. Brown, Jacqueline Marie Buello, summa cum laude. Nice Congratulations. Mary C. Campbell, Lee, Lee Cart, Congratulations. Caroline Amanda Carter, nice Jeffrey David Cash, Congratulations. Shayla Penelope Cataldo, cum laude. Congratulations. Rebecca Ann uh, Chilius. Cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Clark. Nice Lauren Claxon. Catherine Alexandra Conrad. Cum laude. Marjorie Virginia Cormani. Cum laude. Parker Cossaboom. Catherine Cottle. Cum laude. Also beats requirements nice for the Honors College. Caroline Davidson. Cum laude. Crystal Maria Davis. Kristen Elizabeth nice talk, DeAndre. Nice Ivy DeAngelis. Lauren Whitney Congratulations. Delisle. Jacqueline Marie Didmore, cum laude. Catherine Douglas. Nice job. Kirsten Drucker. 
Rebecca Riley Duke, cum laude, also beats requirements for the Honors College. Congratulations. Sarah Morgan Farber, cum laude. Carrie J. Fisher. Congratulations. Victoria Flynn. Congratulations. Congratulations. Jonathan Bradley Freed. Kendra L. Gilliard. Congratulations. Mark Ernest Granquist. Nice going. Congratulations. Heather Congratulations. Lauren Hagler, cum laude. Congratulations. Alexandra Hope Hales. Jamie Lee Heitzman. Congratulations. Megan Hensley. Jonathan D. Hessinger. Catherine S. Heinemann. Congratulations. Christopher Charles Milhouse Holling, nice summa cum laude. John L. Hutchinson. David Edward Johnson. Nice God, congratulations. Hannah E. Harrelson. Aaron Elizabeth Johnson. Congratulations. Katie L. Johnson. Congratulations. Alyssa Ann Jones. Congratulations. Congratulations. Robert A. Cahaya. Stephanie Marie Kehoe. Catherine Elizabeth Curley. Congratulations. Jennifer Congratulations. Juanita Krasinowski. Ben Ivan Kuberic. Elizabeth Claire Lascala. Congratulations. Catherine Lasky. Siobhan Marie Leahy. Congratulations. Kimberly Ann Lamasters. Congratulations. Virginia Labak. Jennifer M. Louise also meets requirements for biology. Brandy Luker. Nice going. Rebecca N. Lynn. Congratulations. Corinna Mapes. Catherine Meredith McCracken also meets requirements for communication. Kelly McGarry. Lauren Collins Medlin. Lauren Folger Melton. Elizabeth Merlin. Congratulations. Abby Elizabeth Meyer, cum laude. Congratulations. Danielle J. Miller. Congratulations. Congratulations. Nice call. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bryson Modlin. Chase Lacey Montanay, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Rebecca Nuren. Congratulations. Elizabeth M. Orr. Taylor Elise Owens, magna cum laude. Catherine L. Paget, cum laude. Nice call. Congratulations. Stephen Daniel Parker. Congratulations. Chris J. Pulowski. Lauren Jordan Perry. Michael S. Pettit. Congratulations. Elizabeth Troy nice Plasters. Alexandra Pocock, cum laude. Elizabeth Pyatt. Yep. Laura Ann Ratchford. Congratulations. Karen M. Reekman, cum laude. Sarah A. Risher, Juliana Ritter, Marissa Andrea Roffler. Nice call, congratulations. Trisha Marguerite Rogers, cum laude. Chelsea R. Roller, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for sociology. Courtney Salas Rowley, Erica Nicole Schelt, cum laude. Jennifer N. Schoolfield. Nice call, congratulations. Emily Tilman Scott. Angela M. Shepard, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Lauren Michelle Singleton. Congratulations. Brittany Lee Smith. Sarah M. Smith, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Dana Lynn Sodke. Lauren Patricia Stanley. Congratulations. Robert Reagan Sullivan. Nice call, congratulations. Ryan Daniel Sullivan. Stephen Adam Tadlock. Congratulations. Alexandra N. Telk. Courtney Claire Terrell. Congratulations. Here we go. Paige nice K. Terrio. Congratulations. Yeah. congratulations. Gary Veliante. Carrie Beth Waghorn. Nice Ashley Kathleen Wallace. Laura Kathleen Wallington. Congratulations. Matthew E. Ward. Colleen Marie White, magna cum laude. Congratulations. Allison Winsek. Catherine Amanda Yaden. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, nice call. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Great for the bachelor's degree in religious studies, joining us will be Professor Lee Irwin, chair of the department. Catherine E. Brown, magna cum laude. Matthew Casey, Amanda E. Edgerton, also meets requirements for Spanish. Christina N. Frisch, Theodore Carl Grafton. Maxwell S. Gustaitis, cum laude, also meets requirements for yeah, philosophy. <laughs> Jennifer M. Montini. Congratulations. Aisha Shante Vanderhorst. Amy R. Wade. You're welcome. Well, you For the bachelor's degree in sociology, <laughs> joining us will be Professor Tracy Burkett, director of the program. Catherine Breeden. Catherine A. Burris. Sophie Elizabeth Carso, cum laude. Christina Megan Cook. Jessica T. Frederick. Hilda Ruby Godley. Rachel Ann nice Goulet. Emily G. Harold. Congratulations. Elizabeth A. Hazard, cum laude. Jade A. Herman. Allison Mills Kinder. Kimberly Lanoue. Shayna E. Levy. Megan Manthe. Stephanie Miller. Emily M. Myers. Brittany S. Orr. Jordan Harmon Parker. Katie Victoria Parvin, summa cum laude. Hillary Ann Porter. Lindsay Nicole Rash. Jesse A. Rosenblum. Congratulations. You're welcome. Congratulations. Melanie Ma Mary Ross, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Whitney Nicole Shelton. Karen L. Sermons, cum laude, also meets requirements for the Honors College. Courtney Sullivan. Nicole Madeline Topper. Congratulations. Sarah E. Ertz. Alexis Wade. Madeline S. Wallace. Richard M. Weldon, Jr. Alicia C. Woolridge. Congratulations. Sarah Jane M. Wyndham. Nice call. Congratulations. Leah D. Yeager, cum laude. Congratulations. For the bachelor's degree in urban studies, joining us will be Professor George Hopkins, director of the program. Serena Ann Beatty. Nice call. Emily L. Brown. You're welcome. Claire Renee LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. Assisting with the graduates from the School of Languages, Cultures, and World Affairs will be Dean David Cohen. Congratulations. For the bachelor's degree in classics, joining us You're will be welcome. Professor James Newhard, chair of the department. Christopher S. Childers. Joseph Cordopassi also meets requirements for history. Mark A. Glenn also meets requirements for communication. Jacqueline Duran, Rachel Marie Leschak, cum laude, Christopher A. Martin, Congratulations. Rachel E. Mossman, top honors, also meets requirements for history and the Honors College. Tyler Pittman, also meets requirements for history. That's God, congratulations. Danielle Sereda, congratulations. Britton L. Williams, for the bachelor's degree in French, joining us will be Professor Godwin Yua, chair of the department. Congratulations. Ann Coleman Chambers. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Howard also meets requirements for secondary education. Paloma Pont, magna cum laude. Lauren E. Van Arzo, magna cum laude. Amelia C. Womack, cum laude. For the bachelor's degree in German, joining us will be Professor Morgan Kerner, representing the department. Congratulations. Tadora Achenet also meets requirements for international business. Amber Vardell Dyer. Monica Agadishka Frontchik. Congratulations. Nicole R. Rausch also meets requirements for biology. Congratulations. Capers E. Rumpf, magna cum laude, also meets requirements for history and the Honors College. Jesse Joanne Schmitz, magna cum laude.
Congratulations. Okay. For the bachelor's degree in Spanish, joining us will be Professor Joseph Wires, chair of the department. Congratulations. Amanda Blair Adams, cum laude, also meets requirements for Latin American and Caribbean studies. Lauren E. Anderson also meets requirements for chemistry. Whitney Barnes. Kelly A. Belasco, cum laude. Sarah Glenn Bernstein. Sarah Burton. Oh, you're welcome. Stacy Clearman. Savannah Davis, cum laude, also meets requirements for communication. Catherine Thorne Duvall, cum laude, also meets requirements for communication. Nice Ryan East also meets requirements for philosophy. Congratulations. You're welcome. Kayla Dion Faust also meets requirements for biology. Sarah R. Goldfarb. Kendra Patrice Hart. Francis Hickey. Mm -hmm. Tristan E. Hill, magna cum laude. Sarah Ella Johnston. Charles Jockin. Kelly Lawson also meets requirements for hospitality and tourism management. Nice go, congratulations. Kimberly Renee Millen also meets requirements for secondary education. Jennifer nice Nicole Mink, summa cum laude. Congratulations. Jacqueline Grace Murphy. Kate Elizabeth Murray. Congratulations. Sarah B. Raycar. Diana Carolina Rivera. Magna cum laude. Allison Amber Runco. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thomas John Szymanski. Toga. Laura M. Toga, cum laude. John William Wachter III also meets requirements for business administration. Gwen Adrian Waller, cum laude, also meets requirements for political science. Patricia Ridley Williams. Congratulations. And for the bachelor's degree in Latin American and Caribbean studies, joining us. Congratulations. Is this the last one? Joining us will be Professor Douglas Friedman, director of the program. Jessica Lillian Cumbi, summa cum laude, also meets requirements for Spanish. Megan Lynn Ganey, cum laude, also meets requirements for Spanish and political science. Sable, Sable. Here you go, girl. Alexandra N. Sabo, cum laude, also meets requirements for Spanish. Congratulations. Nice job, congratulations. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please rise? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and on the recommendation of the faculty and the deans of the College of Charleston, I hereby confer on each of you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or or Bachelor of Science as earned with all the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. Congratulations. And please be seated. <laughs> Next, the Artium Baccalaureatus degrees will be awarded. That's the AB degree. The AB degree in Classics requires significant coursework in both Greek and Latin. 
Other AB majors require significant coursework in Greek or Latin. The College of Charleston has awarded this degree for more than two centuries. That grand tradition continues today. Will the following candidates please stand? Joseph David Eugene Bowling, English major. Joseph Kortopasi, Classics and History major. Rachel Marie Leschek, Classics major. Isabel M. Salazar, Arts major. And Rachel Lynn Vickacall, Anthropology major. It is the tradition that the audience also will stand while this degree is awarded. Please rise. Curatoribus, octoratatum, tribuantibus, os, uinis, in homini o, ribus, literis, pleclare, eruditus, ut gratum, artium, baccalaureatus, admisi. Congratulations, you may be seated. I would now like the faculty of the college to stand if they would. They are the College of Charleston. They deserve the credit for the quality, the successes, and the reputation the college enjoys. They have earned our thanks one more time. Thank you, faculty. Please be seated. Graduates, uh, we are delighted with the value you have added to the College of Charleston during your time with us. We have truly learned from each other, and I offer you my congratulations on a job extremely well done. Ladies and gentlemen, the College of Charleston, class of 2009. Now I would like to introduce David Hay, class of 1981, who will speak on behalf of the Alumni Association. David. It is such an honor to take part in y'all's graduation today. As president of the Alumni Association, I'd like to welcome our newest members. At the end of today's ceremony, you will join the other 43,000 764 alumni of the College of Charleston. Y'all will be members of an alumni association that was founded in 1888 and exists to promote the welfare of the College of Charleston. As y'all get ready to start this new phase of your life, I'd like to share a few thoughts with you as someone who was sitting on this cistern where you are today, 28 years ago, and it really seems like yesterday. Make the most of the education you received here you are well prepared for whatever path you take. The friends you have made here will be some of the best friends you will ever have. Stay connected with each other and with the College of Charleston. Come back for a Charleston affair every year if you can. <laughs> Get involved. We have 19 alumni chapters throughout the United States and are adding more every day. If you move to a city with the chapter, get involved. If there's not a chapter in your area, Think about starting one. Give back. Your class president, Skylar Stetton, spoke at our annual meeting on April 25th and told us of y'all's remarkable class gift. I must tell you, everyone there was very impressed. Keep up this philanthropic spirit after graduation because it is our duty to give back to our alma mater and make sure those who come after us enjoy the same wonderful experience that we did. 
There's a tradition at the college involving the class ring. Before graduation, students wear the ring with the seal facing in. But at graduation, the ring is turned so the seal faces out. This indicates that you are now alumni of the College of Charleston and ready to go out into the world. Good luck to you all, and remember, we will always be here for y'all. Please be seated. <laughs> Not quite. Get one more crack at you. All of you should be extremely proud of what you've accomplished here at the college. Our programs are rigorous and demanding. Your efforts have earned you a very valuable degree. Now, I know that you got to this point mostly on your own, but credit should also go to your friends and your family. The support system they provide The support system they provide is critical. It's a critical role in our whole education process. And I would like the parents and the grandparents and the uncles and the aunts and the nieces and the spouses and other family and friends of the graduates, please stand so the students and the faculty can thank you for what you've done. Family and friends, would you please remain in place? You may sit, but remain in place until the recessional is complete. Graduates, in order to avoid congestion around Porter's Lodge, would you please continue the procession on down Glebe Street and meet your family and friends outside the Stern Center?
Thank you.